What's going on guys? It's your boy Nerdlos here. And today we're gonna be opening up a Cyrus box. And to be honest, I thought it was pretty cool looking. It was the first time I've ever seen anything like this. And I figured I might as well open it considering it's already pretty much opened on the outside based on appearance. And I've only read on the outside what the contents are kind of in it. And it may not be kind of enough of what we're looking for. So on the side, I've got some Evolving Skies and 151 to add into it. And if if it's not to our liking, we got ourselves a bag next to us that we can kind of start digging into. So let's kind of jump in here as a test run to this setup that I have here and see kind of how everything's going to work out. I have no idea if I should be trying to preserve this box or if there's an easier way to open it. Oh, you know, they have really made it easy. Which I can't say is the first for Pokemon stuff. So we're going to sell some dice. It doesn't have like a bigger dice in it, kind of like how an ETB normally would. This seems interesting. Let me try to... Let me try to get some of this stuff out. It seems to be packed in there pretty well. nice. So this is the Cyrus deck box. Actually looks pretty clean and feels actually pretty good. Okay, so we got ourselves the packs inside. We'll look into that in a second. I think this is where all the promo cards come from. And uh, last thing in there is going to be a coin. So we got ourselves a Cyrus coin. It's pretty sweet. And then let's get into the Cyrus sleeves. It's pretty cool. We got ourselves the Cyrus Pikachu in the back. Respect. Ooh, boss's orders. So the full art Cyrus. Let's kind of just get this open. I think it should be more copies of boss's orders, if not full art ones. So, okay. So just some hollow three other boss's orders in there, which is pretty cool. And I guess the code card. And let's get this Cyrus box open. All right, so in here we've got a divider, it seems. So we got ourselves a poison and burn counter. I wonder, can I get this? No, it didn't seem like it comes out. So I guess that's just a separator. All right. So we've got a silver temp. Oh, okay. Three silver tempest. Astro two astro radiance, one fusion strike, and one brilliant stars. So we'll start with fusion strike first. So I honestly know that this is one of the better alt art sets. So we'd probably be looking for like Genesect and Gengar. I don't really know if there's anything else in this set. Barracuda, Metapod, yeah, okay. So there was nothing in that one. Oh, Battle VIP Pass is good to set off to the side though. And then we got just one Brilliant Stars. So Chime Echo, Chimchar, Mincino, Ball Toy. Oh man, I think I might be spoiling this for myself. A Snow Runt, Reverse Grimer, ooh, and a Full Art Shaman V. Wow, the texture on that is pretty nice. That's awesome. Now, <clears> there's <throat> Code Card. Alright, I'm not going to bother separating any commons and uncommons, so we got Astral Radiance, super big fan of Arceus, uh, the Legends of Arceus, but the, uh, the pack seems to be a massive dud in regards to like playability besides uh, Radiant Greninja. It looked like it was super, it was going to be like super cool, but they kind of released all of the nice looking uh, Legends Arceus cards in the Crown Zenith set. All right, ripping into the last Astral Radiance. Rowlet, Hishuian, Krillfish, and they've got two different ones in this set. 
Oshawott, Hoot Hoot, Cyndaquil, and a Luxray V. So now we've got ourselves three Silver Tempests left with that. Alright. Fennekin, Rufflet, Linton, Fampy, Feebas, Spinarak, and a Hollow Dragonite. Yeah, I'm not going to bother separating uh, the Hollow. Unless it's a uh, Sableye, I don't think I'm particularly interested. And I'm not quite certain in which set they stopped showing uh, the code card, meaning, or having a whole lot of relevance, like when when that stopped. Maybe that was just uh, Paldea, since they give you guaranteed hollows. But uh, last pack from the Cyrus box set, and... Seems like the Full Art Shaman from Fusion Strike is uh, going to be the main pull out of that one. Yeah, doesn't seem like there's anything else. But luckily, I had already planned for that. So that's why we're going to get into the this 151 and Evolving Skies. Seems that the code cards uh, seem to be popping in on different parts of the, the pack. Maybe because we're in Scarlet and Violet now. Venomoth, Legatong, and Weezing. Got a hollow Thunder energy. Let's see if the five packs of 151 is going to prove itself to be better than the, uh, than the five packs of Evolving Skies. If you've ever opened Evolving Skies before, I think you know what we're probably in for. But, you know, Scarlet Violet 151 seems to be kind of giving us the, the Evolving Cries treatment. Pikachu. Yeah, oh wow, it evolved. Just straight hollows in the back. Not really helping us out here. Maybe keeping those uh, packs off to the side would have been fine. Slowpoke, Magmar, Horsey, Abra, Charmeleon, Parasect, Cloister, Seeking. Oh my gosh. SAR, Charizard EX. Only the best card in the set. That I was not expecting. Uh, wow. I just kind of like blew this card off because I was like, yeah, I'll probably never buy this card or get this card ever. Never really expected to pull it either. Wow. That is, that is awesome. Well, I mean, I guess I can write that one off. Mom's getting a call from home. Oh, yeah. We're breaking the bank. And I take back everything that I said about 151. You're doing just great. Meowth, Execute, Clefairy, Machop. Look at him. He's just the goat. Doug Trio, Clefable, Tentacruel, Reverse Pikachu, no Master Ball in English. All right. Last of 151, I would say that was uh, definitely worth it. Now, uh... Let's get into some of the evolving cries. Got ourselves a side up. So we're not starting off with the code card when it comes to Sword of Shield sets. I'll take that into consideration next time. Swablu, Seedon, Woobat, Eevee, Sissy Hypno, and Arctivish V. Yeah, nothing too crazy. But a hit's a hit. And I'm gonna give credit where credit's due with the evolving skies. Fletchling. Chin Chow. Unlucky. Dino. Teddy Ursa. Hippo. Potas. Shift Tree. Yeah, we're gonna. Three more packs. Evolving Skies. 
as some would say, Jimmy's would be wrestled with SAR Charizard, but in this set, if we get any alternate art evolution, I think we're more than in the clear. Smeargle, just painting a long trail behind him. Goofy, kind of doing some Grafi eye activity. Two more of all these guys. Feebas, Hoppip, Hitmonchan, Fletchling, Tentacle, Zoelius, Gorgeist. Yeah, Arctivish seems to be uh, doing its best to carry on the low end of the uh, Evolving Skies. Drowsy, Scraggy, Feebas, Hitmonchan, Slackoth. He evolved! <laughs> Thievul, yeah. Um, yeah, Evolving Skies, not too great. Charizard SAR, definitely worth it, but I think we can do better. Let's grab some of the uh, packs onto the side here. Just gonna grab a random assortment of them. All right, I don't know if they're organized. Okay, they don't seem to be organized in there. We got Chilling Rain, two Lost Origin, a Silver Tempest, City and Flame, we're not opening up City and Flame. It's not even worth it. Not even worth it. These alternate arts are actually worth it in these other sets. So, I mean, we got ourselves a, a good selection here. Let's just get into one that we haven't even tried opening yet. So we've got ourselves a Lost Origin, Sword and Shield. Bronzor, Makuhita, Jinx, Hishui and Basculin, Inke, Vileplume, and Polyrath. Man. The droplets coming down from there? Must have unearthed that rock from the river. Yeah, I don't think those cards deserve that little click I just did there. Lost Origin. These packs are opening up pretty easily. A lot better than 151 in Evolving Skies. Murkrow. Binacle. Ghastly. Bronzor. Electrike. Reverse Gastrodon. And a dugong. Man. You can definitely see the difference. Um, having no hollows at all. That's the, the Lost Origin Shield and, or Sword and Shield treatment. So into uh, Chilling Rain now. Three packs. Galarian Slowpoke. Crabrawler. Snowrunt. Weedle. Castform. Reverse Alaron. And Dugtrio. Two more packs of Chilling Rain and one Silver Tempest, and I think I'll uh, stop digging into the hills after this. Cast form? Cast form? If only you can continue the cast form. Kecleon. That's pretty cool. You got a... Okay, I thought I saw three, but the more you look, the more Kecleons you can count, which is pretty cool. Like the art of that. Let's uh let's switch it up. Instead of going into the third chilling pain, we're gonna go into Silver Tempest. Alright, we got ourselves uh Ralts. Durant. Never has been a grass type ever. Metatite, Emolga, Murkrow, Solosis Reverse, and Gardevoir. Yeah, that's not quite the treatment I was expecting from a one-pack of uh, Silver Tempest, right? No way. So, uh, Altart Chase seems to be low. Not a whole lot going on there. We got ourselves Mareep. Ooh, Heracross. That boy Xavier going in. You know, it's a boy. You got that bow. Clobopus. Grookey. Oh, he whacking. Sneasel, water type, echoing horn. Oh, Cali Rex, Shadow Rider, full art V Max. Wow. Ending this video off on a banger. Chilling rain. Oh, yeah. Sword and shield represent. So, just to recap, I think Evolving Cries, only uh, Arctivish. 
151, we got two hollow energies and a, the one and only SAR Charizard EX. And from the box set, uh, the Cyrus box, we got the Luxray V and the Shaman V full art. Let me know if uh, you like what you see here and if uh, what, what you think we could do for some improvements. We got ourselves plenty of different things we can open. Still working on the setup. But uh, if there's anything else, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let your boy know how he's doing. And that's going to be everything. Nerdlos, signing off.